Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be creating a RAG chatbot with Llama 3.1. We're gonna be using the 405 and 70 billion parameter models. You don't need to download anything for this or code anything, but if you are interested in coding, then you can watch one of my previous videos where we deploy the model and we also fine tune it. For today's video, we're just gonna be focusing on connecting some data sources and then chatting with the data sources. And you can do this all for free, so I'm gonna show you guys how. Let's jump right into the video. We're gonna to go to huggingface.co slash chat, and I'll also have all these links and everything below in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on assistance and then we're going to create a new assistant and we're going to just call this the documentation assistant. And we're just going to give it, we're just going to say it uses website documentation to answer questions. And we'll test it on the 70 billion parameter model first and then we'll test it on the 405 billion parameter model. And then down here, we're just going to use specific links. And we're going to use the docs from my company, Allison. And we're just going to do some rag on that. And then I have a system prompt that I had Claude write because it seems to be really good at writing system prompts. And again, this is going to be below for you guys as well. So as you can see, it gave us all of this. So. It's a pretty solid system prompt. And this is all you guys need to get started with it. So let's see how accurate it is. And we're gonna test the accuracy on both and then the speeds as well. So just click activate and then now it's active. And there we go, and now we can use it. So the first question we're gonna ask is what is Allison? Yep, Allison appears to be an AI powered virtual assistant designed to automate back office tasks, specifically email and calendar management. Yep, this is correct. So the next question we're gonna ask it is what agents are available? So if it's right, we should get back two agents because currently the Gmail agent and the Google Calendar agent are available. Yep, okay, so it gets the first one and it gets the second one. And it gives us the information about both of them. And you can tells you where you can add them and find them at in the command center on the web application. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna ask it, what are the benefits of using their AI agents? Nice, okay. Yep, and this is actually in the documentation as well. So, I mean, it's doing a pretty good job at pulling in the relevant information Okay, so now we're going to ask it, is there a human in the loop approach involved? Nice. Okay, so it does let us know that it does use the human in the loop control. So it allows the user to intervene. Let's ask it if it knows some more information about that. Okay, so in the case of the email draft feature, users can review and approve drafted emails before sending them, ensuring the AI agent's output meets their standards. Nice. So that's what you want when you're using AI agents. You want to still have some control over them. You don't want to have them running fully autonomous, especially on key decisions like sending out emails and stuff like that on your behalf. Okay, now we're going to change the model. We're going to click on edit, and we're going to click on model, and we're going to change to the 405 billion parameter model can also change the temperature and stuff like that over here as well. But we're just going to keep that the same for now. And now it's using this model. And it's still active. So we're just asking the same questions and we'll see how fast it is. Okay, so what is Allison? Okay, so that was pretty quick. Let's compare the answers real quick. So it gave us more output than this one. Let's go to the next question. OK, 
Okay, let's compare the outputs. Pretty similar. Give us a little bit more context. Okay, this is looking very similar to the last one as well. Like it's kind of just regurgitating what was on the website. We'll compare this one. Added just a little bit more context behind it. So the speeds are pretty good though. So it is returning very fast. And let's have it expand more on that as well. Okay, so it kind of tells us where uh, it's mentioned at inside the documentation and then what step as well. And it tells you the mobile app is there for you to take action at any time. So this does look pretty good. It gives you a little bit more information. It's a little bit, the 70 billion is still good though. Like if you're running it, if you want to run it yourself on your own GPUs, the 70 billion is still pretty good compared to the 405 billion in my opinion. If you want to chat with other assistants, you can just click over here. It's kind of like how ChatGPT has the, the GPT store with all the other assistants and stuff, but this is open source. So you can use any of these that you want and test them out for yourselves. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date on my latest videos that are coming out, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.